Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Chatham Island Tycho, one of the rarest seabirds in the world that only occur in dense forest at the southern end of the main Chatham Island. I hope you enjoy. Chatham Island Tycho are medium-sized, dark grey and white petrels, with a distinctive dark hooded head, long narrow wings and a long pointed tail. They are medium-sized birds, being around 38cm in length and weighing about 450 through 580 grams in weight. They are similar to many other petrel species as many of them also possess the Tycho's hooded appearance, although those with only partial hoods being the soft-plumaged petrel, Hutton shearwater and grey petrels can be readily ruled out with adequate views. Their diet remains poorly known, although fish and squid are the two most commonly regurgitated items as observed, and are able to feed both by day and at night. They are nocturnally active at their breeding grounds through September through June, with them laying a single white egg in late November or December, which then hatches in January through February. The egg is laid in a well-lined nest at the back of a long burrow dug into peaty soil, which can be 1 through 3 metres in length. They form long-term pair bonds with both partners incubating the egg and feeding the chick once hatched. They are also quickly able to enter said burrows if conditions become worse or if they just need to feed their chick, with video footage showing that they can land and enter their burrows within 5 seconds. They breed only in dense forests at the southern ends of the main Chasm Islands up to 5 kilometres inland from the sea, with Tycho being known to have formerly been hunted by early Polynesian settlers as Moriori, the indigenous people of the Chatham Islands harvested them, as evidenced by their bones found in midden deposits. Tycho were believed to be extinct for over a century as their once numerous colonies were thought to have disappeared, with one specimen being taken as a specimen in 1867, and was named the Magenta Petrel, the other name of the Tycho after the ship in which they were first discovered. Ornithologist Bill Bourne was the first to make the connection that the magenta petrel and the extinct Tycho were the same species in 1964, although it wasn't until 1978 when the first two Tycho were caught at night at the southwest end of the Chatham Islands through an expedition supported by locals by ornithologist David Crockett, then taking another nine years for the first active nesting burrows to be found, with birds being captured in flight through spotlighting and then being tracked, using radio transmitters to find an additional two nests, and is still used today along with specially trained dogs to find further ones. Local people were aware of their existence until at least the 1950s, although their identity was unknown and continued to remain a mystery to science until the expedition that rediscovered them. They are some of the rarest seabirds in the world, with their exact population size being hard to determine, as they are widely scattered, although repeated captures of birds suggest that there are fewer than 200 birds remaining today, with about 17 breeding burrows being known. They are classed as critically endangered due to this, and are even more vulnerable due to their limited range. Their position is even more precarious given that they are vulnerable to feral cats, rats, feral pigs which can collapse burrows, and possums, which are all currently present on the island. Pest control has thankfully been taking place since their rediscovery, with the place where they were rediscovered being on private property, which was owned by Manuel and Evelyn Tuanui, who in 1983, donated 1,283 hectares of land to the government to protect the species, which became the Tuku Nature Reserve, which is fully fenced off from feral sheep and cattle. An entirely predator-free fence was also built around a hilltop, with nearly 60 chicks being transferred there from 2007 to 2011, securing a potential breeding site. Burrows are also monitored throughout their breeding season to ensure chick survival, with pairings sometimes being created by introducing single prospecting birds to single birds in established burrows. In a 2004 report, it has been estimated that about 80% of all Tycho breeding burrows were located in this reserve, with recent research into their conservation genetics, finding that they may have problems by breeding with close relatives, although with them having no major at-sea threats to them and the establishment of new predator-free areas, their future does have the chance to improve. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Brown Creeper, small and noisy flocking songbirds which are found in forest and shrubland in the South and Stewart Islands. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.